Welcome back. This is probably Australia's best kept secret. This is a Foresight MK1S carbon fiber helmet. This is matte black, but you can also get shiny black. This particular helmet is a size small, which is a 55 to 56 centimeter. Compared to other helmets that I have, which are AGVs, the size is, is pretty true to size. If you normally wear a small, buy a small. This helmet is a game changer because it has a built-in technology module. It has a camera in the front. So it's a point of view camera. It gives a view over the handlebars. If you were wearing a GoPro on the chin, it's got a fairly similar viewpoint. Apologies for the fan on my aging um, MacBook there. It just likes to come on. And The great thing about this, this helmet though is it connects to an app on your phone available for iPhone and Android. And you can control whatever the camera does from your phone. Or it comes with a neat little triangular controller which can sit on the handlebars so that you can start and stop the camera for example or make a phone call. The helmet has an on button on the inside underneath. Your little controller has an on button, turn them both on. The app on your phone then picks up whether they're on and starts communicating between all three of them. The app has a built-in root finder, GPS, and uh, it tell, the helmet tells you whether you're gonna turn left or right. So you can hear it through the internal speakers, but there are also lights at the front which flash depending on which direction um, you need to go in. The helmet has a pulsating red light for when the camera's in use so that you can see that it's still recording. It will tell you whether it's starting recording, whether recording stopped, etc., which is uh, pretty handy when your card is full, for example. The, the helmet requires charging, so there's a nifty little charging port down here. It's supplied with all of the USB connectors. It has a pretty specialist setup. So you can transfer your footage, for example, direct to your phone um, if you want to, or you can download it onto your computer. It takes a, a micro SD card of various sizes, numerous cards, 64 gig, 128 gig. I don't have anything larger than that because I feel always feel it's an awful lot more expensive to buy larger car cards, which means that if it goes kaput, then it's more expensive to replace them all. It closes off while you're riding, and then you charge it while you're at home. Um, very well padded, nice little um, wind protector at the chin guard here. Um, beautiful design, nicely shaped. Uh, drops down at the front, as you'd expect. So it comes with a sun visor, which you control outside the helmet which is really good. It means that you don't have to take interchangeable visors with you. I just went with the standard clear visor. It accepts a pin lock fog insert. Uh, if it's closed and you're sitting at traffic, you do get a little bit of condensation. So it's not 100%, but it's still pretty good. A very firm close. You can lock the visor shut should you want to. It comes with uh, lots of ventilation slots, including a ventilation exit at the back. And all up, can't fault this helmet. I recently had an accident, a motorcycling accident in India. And had it not been for the fact that the inbuilt camera recorded everything that happened to prove that I wasn't at fault at a hit and run. That video is also available on the channel. Um, I believe that the insurance company, the travel insurance company, would have not been so keen to help out with hospital clearance, etc., had it not been for the fact that I had the footage. Couldn't be disputed. You could see exactly what happened. It recorded everything. Even though my helmet was taken off, it continued to record for a couple of hours afterwards while it was sitting in a minibus waiting to be transported itself. The Foresight regularly send out information on updates, so software updates. You can update the app, you can update the firmware in the controller and in the helmet. 
Uh, we recently had quite a large update which involved transferring a file directly onto the SD card and updating the system that way. And they've also recently just brought out a brand new set of internal speakers. So obviously speakers sit at your ears. You can adjust them forwards or backwards. Um, they come sort of flush with the helmet to start with, but then you've got little extra padding inserts that you can put in to bring them closer to your ears if you want to. A new set of speakers, and which I'm installing here today on this video. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. They've done a really good video of how to do the installation yourself, the pitfalls um, and problems that you might have uh, when you're doing the installation. But I wanted to do a test which gave you an idea of what the sound was like before the speakers, the new speakers were installed, and then afterwards. So I've done a comparison. And for those of you who like to listen to music or listen to audio books, if you're on lengthy touring trips or, or uh, just boring commutes to work, can't recommend these speakers more highly. They are fantastic. They're expensive at $199 for the upgrade. And if you add them to the cost of the helmet, it brings it in around about uh, $1,600 Australian dollars. But it's like a lot of things. You get what you pay for in this life. And it's like everything else. You know, what price can you put on your safety or just having the ability to prove exactly what happened in the events of an incident. This is my go-to helmet. My AGVs have now retired to the shelf. They also have a handy feature whereby if your helmet, if you are in a crash or your helmet is damaged, you can send the whole thing back to Foresight. They will assess it and where possible, they will take the technology module out of the helmet and transfer it into a new shell, which is exactly what happened to my helmet. Um, as you can see, there was considerable damage once you've dropped it, then you've got to bin it. They took the tech module out and they put it in a new shell. So fantastic customer service. Uh, they're quick to respond to you. Um, this is not a paid promotion, but I feel that the helmet is so good, I'm going to recommend it. Right, let's have a look what's in the box. Master and Dynamic X for Foresight. It says, everything comes in specialist packaging these days. Instruction leaflet for upgrade to Master and Dynamic, but it comes with mandatory stickers. And these are the new speakers going in. Pretty trick and slick. 